Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and recently I was asked what my thoughts were on the fact that Batman vs. Superman or the Man of Steel sequel, whatever this film is going to officially be called, what I thought about it's being pushed back to May 2016. And this is interesting, you know, my first sort of reaction is to say, well, it's not really inspiring confidence in me, but, uh, you know, in the fact that they'll have to take extra work on it, but actually that is more good than bad, I would think. Um, um, you know, giving it some more thought, I mean, it sounds to me like it's not really going to be ready for the release date that they were shooting for, and I would much rather them spend the extra time needed to perfect a script, to perfect performances, to get people physically ready for, you know, whatever tasks at hand they have to perform in this film, uh, you know, with all the things that we have heard officially and rumored as well that are being put into this, you know, I've always been kind of suspicious as to whether this was going to really genuinely be a Man of Steel sequel, and, you know, it seems like a lot of the rumors have suggested it's going to be more precursor or full-on Justice League film, and, you know, I take that with a grain of salt to a certain degree. I would be, uh, you know, I think it's a lost opportunity if they skip ahead that quickly and just make it a Justice League film like that. Um, I would much prefer to see more sort of revolving around Superman and his universe you know, we've only gotten one film thus far, and I'd love to see more of that. Originally, I wanted to see a straight Man of Steel 2, you know, a sequel following up and delving further into this world that we've set up, but I you know, did welcome step by step the idea of Batman being included and, you know, it's a natural second step. Superman comes to Earth, one of the chief heroes or vigilantes or whatever you want to call him, one of the power players in the world, uh, top most, that is to say, would want to confront this alien being, would want to try to gauge whether he's going to be good or bad, and, you know, I, I think that's perfectly fine. It made sense to me, thinking in terms of it would kind of be a duality where you have Lex Luthor coming from the dark side and Bruce Wayne coming from the darker side, I guess you could say, but the light side as well, uh, or the night side, as it were. And, you know, they'd be coming from two different angles with similar sort of uh, preconceptions and worries and concerns, and at the end of the day, we would see one join the ranks with Superman and one, you know, defy it. And so... That's kind of loosely what I've been thinking this movie might end up being. But then, of course, we have the official confirmation that Gal Gadot is going to be Wonder Woman. And what, you know, capacity will her role have? Is this going to be a Man of Steel to, uh, you know, Trinity kind of film where they're all three players coming together? Maybe she's just as curious about this destruction that waged all across Metropolis. He did what he could to prevent that as much as possible to stop the world from being destroyed. And I think these other heroes would look at that and say, you know, he was trying to help, but we have to make sure that he's not like those other Kryptonians that wrought all this havoc and that we won't be having this happen again sometime shortly, you know. And I think that's why these superheroes are going to be coming together. And quite frankly, if they're going to push the movie back, you know, it's my hope that what they're really intending to do is flesh everything out much more solidly and, and much more, you know, given forethought and everything like that, that they don't want there to be any mistakes, they don't want to rush into this, they want to lay the groundwork and have this polished mechanism, this polished film finally to be released in May 2016. So my hopes are definitely high on that venue, and uh, I can't wait to see what happens. I do hope we don't have an overabundance of heroes, if not, you know, uh, maybe like a final shot in the film where we have a bunch of heroes coming up to greet, you know, Batman, Superman, maybe Wonder Woman as well, uh, although it might be hard, you know, with certain heroes who don't wear masks, but if they wear masks, you could get away with having characters appear on screen like The Flash, and uh, you wouldn't necessarily have to have a close-up on the person, just have them appear and then cast them with another actor in the next film, that kind of thing. And uh, with characters like Aquaman, however, that'd be a little harder, and I really am holding out hope for Aquaman on screen, on the big screen, if not in its own film, at least in the Justice League. I mean, 
<laughs> be damned, I want him in the movie. In any case, that's kind of my thoughts. I mean, I'm hoping this is going to allow them to have more time to work on this feature and flesh it out and make it the best it can possibly be and just, you know, screw our eyes with awesome when it's released. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below if you're able to post. Realize that I still can't respond to them at the moment, but I still read them, and I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on the fact that Man of Steel 2 has been pushed back for whatever reason reason, and, uh, you know, how you feel about it, whether you're looking more forward to it, or whether you're a little trepidatious because of this news. So, yeah, I'd love to hear from you, and otherwise, I hope this video finds you well. That'll be it for me on this, and I'll catch you later. Peace.